In this video, I'm going to give you three ways that you can stop rejecting yourself. If you are someone who loses yourself when it comes to dating and relationships, that you abandon your own needs, you're worried about sharing who you are, your opinion, your likes, but you are used to pleasing everyone else, putting them on a pedestal, thinking about what it is that they want and what they need above yourself, then I'm sure that you need to hear these three tips. They are not going to stop you from being caring. They're not gonna stop you from still looking after the people that you love, but they are gonna help you with your self-esteem to value yourself and to just feel a sense of fulfillment in your relationships. Because when we abandon ourselves and when we reject ourselves, we really do feel the effects of that. Now, there are different reasons why we might reject and abandon ourselves, but usually it's because in order to be accepted, to be loved, to be looked after, at some point in the past, it's possible that you had to reject your needs. It's possible that you never knew your needs. It's possible that you were the carer or you were the warrior. You were being the parent. Whatever the reason, Today, you will see it showing up in your adult relationships. And if you're here watching this, I'm guessing that you are ready to put an end to that. Before I go on, let me introduce myself. My name is Carly Ann. I'm a holistic attachment coach. I support people to build a secure attachment with themselves and with others because I truly believe that you deserve to have a healthy love in your lifetime. Each of the three tips that I'm going to give you today, they are all about something that i wholeheartedly believe is going to help you with your happiness your well-being your relationships just generally your life improving your life and that is to build a secure relationship with yourself i know we talk about it all the time that you have to love yourself you have to go inwards first in order to have a healthy relationship i really see this to be true Building a secure relationship with yourself is the foundations and everything begins to fall into place. So these three ways of ending self-rejection do support that. The first way you can stop rejecting yourself today is to start keeping a promise with yourself. Now, this actually has many benefits, like another one, for example, being that it's gonna help you to build self-trust. So something easy, something small, something that you can definitely show up for, and something that means something to you as well. Because if it's for someone else, if it's just improving someone else's life, or it's not, or it's a should, something you feel like you should be doing, in some ways, in a lot of ways, that's you still abandoning yourself. So think about yourself. Think about something that you desire, something that you want, something that you care about, and around that, come up with a small promise that you can make yourself, that you know, if I keep that promise, it's gonna feel good. That's gonna feel like I'm loving myself. Now, it's gotta be something small and easy because if you do struggle with self-rejection, it's very possible you'll give up on it if it's hard, if it's too much effort, if it gets in the way of you being there for someone else. So whether it is committing to buying yourself flowers each week, or taking time out for a cup of coffee each morning that you can enjoy, or definitely giving yourself your lunch break, whatever it is, make it something that feels possible for you and then stick to it. The second way to break the cycle of self-rejection is to be honest with yourself. Now, this one, I'm not actually asking you to take action. I'm just saying, if there is something that you're doing or a decision that you're making at the moment that does, does feel like you're kind of rejecting yourself. So let's say you are still reaching out to that ex, you're still letting that person come back into your life, you're not making any decisions in your relationship, whatever it might be, just admit that to yourself. You don't have to do anything. I'm just asking you to be honest with the fact that this is happening because too often we make excuses for why we're not doing X, Y, and Z, because if we admitted it, we might have to change it. 
So I'm just saying, what if we just get honest? What if we just have some communication with ourselves and say, yes, this is happening and then see where that unfolds and how it unfolds. But for now, in order to stop rejecting yourself, don't lie to yourself about what it is that's going on in your life. Just before I give you the third tip, I want to take a moment to ask you to subscribe to this channel and like this video. YouTube loves it and it means then that we can reach the people just like you and just like me who also reject themselves, who also have an insecure attachment, but they don't know these videos are here. So if it's helping you in any way, please like and subscribe. The third way that you can stop rejecting yourself today is to add yourself to your priority list. Add yourself to the table so you do not have to remove the other people that are important to you. They can still let you know what they like. You can still take action to try and help them. I'm not saying you have to stop any of that. But what if you added yourself to the list as well? What if you also listen to the kind of food that you want to have for dinner? What if you also listen to how you want to spend your weekend? If you just begin to add yourself to the mix, you might then be more likely to say what it is that you want. And if you are engaging in healthy, happy relationships, the chances are that people that you're around are going to love to hear from you. They want you to be part of the table. They want you to feel happy too. They want you to have your needs met too. If that's not the case, we might be dealing with a different issue there. Add yourself to the mix and stop projecting yourself today. Those are the three ways that you can stop abandoning yourself today. If you want to go deeper, if you feel like you've been watching all the videos, you've been reading all of the books, you know everything about attachment wounds, and still you're seeing yourself default back to old patterns, then you can check out working with me one-to-one -one, where I support people to go inwards, to build that secure relationship with themselves so that they can have better relationships outside. Or you can look at my membership where it's for people with attachment wounds dedicated to attachment healing and rediscovering themselves. It's full of community, education, embodiment practices that you can literally get started on today. All of the details are in the description. And I will see you back at this channel again soon.